Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Mission Matters. My name is Adam Torres, and if you'd like to apply to be a guest on the show, just head on over to missionmatters.com and click on the apply button. All right, so today is going to be a fun episode. I'm telling you, I have this drink in my hand for our listeners at home. Um, humanity, I'm holding up the the bottle. The um, v- big shout out to the team that sent me uh, that that dropped off a couple cases so I could start my taste testing extravaganza. So first off, we have Jeff on the line, Jeff McClellan, who is the CEO over at Humanity, and Joe Garza, who is the Chief Sales Officer of Humanity. Um, and by the way, the logo is all capital letters. I think I, I see a little bit of error here. On the, We got some lowercase there, but it's all capital letters, Humanity. So hey, guys, first off, just want to say welcome to the show. Thank Hello, you. Adam. Thank you. Thank you for all having us. Right. So we got we got a lot to cover here. First off, um, what we're going to start this episode the way that we start them all with what we like to call our Mission Matters Minute. So what we do here at Mission Matters is we amplify stories for entrepreneurs, executives, and brands. We want to make sure that their mission gets out to and their their message gets out to the masses. That's what we do. What's the mission of humanity? What do you do? Oof, that's a great one. Humanity. We are a premium tea company. That's committed uh, in ingre- uh, quality ingredients and giving back from partnerships with our two nonprofits to community events. We are all about great tea with a great cause. Mm. Yeah, to add to that is uh, Joe and I and our, our team, uh, we decided to put together a brand and, and call it Humanity. We've been in the um, industry, the beverage industry, in all different uh, parts of it. And we put together this team to uh, build a brand that we could uh, create some delicious, innovative beverages Mm. at a premium, healthy level. The same time is uh, give back or kind of like pay it forward to our world that is needed uh, with, with, you know, Mission Matters, similar to what your show. We want to... We want to create good profits, enjoyable beverages, but at the same time is is really help the people that really need help and, and mm-hmm. really pay it for it. That's what humanity is all about. Oh, that's great. Love bringing mission-based individuals and brands on the line to share what they do. So, hey, Jeff, so this one's for you. You've been in this space for a long time, right? Food and beverage in general. Like, Tell us a little bit more about like what what the, how this concept came about and maybe some of your background in food and beverage. Been in the beverage industry for 30 years now, this 2024 marks 30 years. And uh, the background been doing a lot of different uh, innovative, uh, you know, beverages from bottled water when it first came out, wow. became a product in the early nineties to energy drinks. Uh, I have a uh, extensive uh, background of uh, uh, operations and in, in running manufacturing plants and, and then, private label. And, and, uh, you know, so we have, um, touched a, a lot of different, um, parts of the beverage industry, but, um, you know, I've always personally wanted to, uh, put together a brand where we could, uh, you know, go and sell and build a brand, but same time is, is given back. And I have three children that have mm. uh, been watching me be an entrepreneur for the last two, <laughs> two three decades. And I wanted personally to show them that uh, building bi- bi- uh, businesses in, in the beverage industry is not all about just profit. It is paying it forward. And my mm-hmm. kids, I'm trying to show them example that, uh, you know, an entrepreneur can build something good for for the beverage industry and the customers, but at the same time is to uh, touch other lives. And uh, and I think uh, this humanity has been a great vehicle so far for um, my personal uh, goals in, in being a family man. Mm. So Jeff, tell me, tell me how the original idea or the concept for tea, because as you mentioned, you've been in different spaces, like what drew you to the tea, um, to the tea sector? Yeah, the tea is, well, uh, it's, it is the number one beverage consumption, uh, in the world is tea mm. next to water, of course. And, and one thing we do in the research before we decided to 
uh, create humanity is that we found out that uh, today's U.S. millennials, 87% of U.S. Uh, millennials drink tea. Hmm. And that, you know, goes from tea bags ready to drink and stuff. So the category is so wide open. Uh, hmm. Secondly, being in the industry for, you know, three decades, we could see that um, the category of tea was starting to get stagnant, wasn't getting that innovative um, uh, that you would see in, in other categories mm -hmm. like energy drinks and stuff. So when we put together a team, Joe, Lance and I, we decided that tea was the, the place that had a lot of room for growth and innovation. And uh, and then put on top of it is you have the millennials, 87% yeah. uh, consuming them. And then the Gen Z's are right behind that, uh, drinking the bobas, kabuchas, the teas. Mm. So it's, and, and then on top of it, the product tea is in general, you know, premium tea is good mm -hmm. for you. So we want a healthy product, which is very trendy and, you know, today health conscious uh, uh, beverages. So we want to, uh, you know, build a, a great quality tea, uh, product that's good for you and that has a lot of growth potential. So that's why we chose tea. Hmm. Hey, Joe, so I want to get you involved over here. So uh, I'm right now I've been drinking and I, I got a couple of cases here and I've been working my way through wildberry and lime hibiscus tea, yeah. um, which is amazing. So, Joe, you're, as you know, on the sales side of things, you're obviously working on distribution, your team right. and otherwise, like tell us a little bit more about about the flavors and really just the market response to this to this product. Sure, sure. So we have seven amazing flavors. The wildberry lime hibiscus is, you know, my favorite, Jeff's favorite. That happens to be our number two seller. Mm. You know, when we started off, when we launched Humanity, we wanted to ensure that we had <clears throat> quality ingredients, of course, right? We're all about mm -hmm. premium. But we wanted to have a, a, a flavor profile that wasn't like any other brand out there within mm. the tea category. So... I'm a coffee drinker. You know, I go into Starbucks more than I probably should. And what I notice is, is that, you know, a lot of consumers were, instead of buying hot coffee or cold coffee, they were buying premium teas. Yeah. So I would sit back being the beverage nerd that I am, and I would just watch what people were ordering. And I started to do this more and more and realize that people were or, were paying 5 6 $7 for a tea but they were ordering the passion fruits and the mongols and the hibiscus and, mm -hmm. and the wild berries. And I, so I went back to the office and told Jeff, Hey Jeff, <laughs> let's look at the data. Let's create flavors that go with black tea and green tea that people are ordering when they go out to a tea shop. So mm -hmm. we put together seven amazing flavors, wild berry lime hibiscus, passion fruit kiwi green tea we have a mongol melon black tea oh my gosh we have a rooibos you know peach vanilla come on man you're making me thirsty over here. i haven't opened up the other i haven't opened up the other ones yet i'm over here like <laughs> hey, hold on buddy you're gonna love them all and then of course we have an unsweetened black tea that mm -hmm. you know that everybody enjoys and then we have one non-tea i call it a vacation in a bottle uh, I tease people that when they crack it open, they'll know why I call it vacation in a bottle. <laughs> it's a coconut lemonade. Mm. And it reminds me of, you know, being on a beach in Hawaii or Costa yeah. Rica. And it's just amazing. So, so what we do is unique to the category, but mm. it's just unique, unique in that it's, <clears throat> it's gives that, that, that feeling that you've, purchase something premium and you're going to want to come back for more. So hmm. uh, quality product. Joe, and talk now, to me, Joe, talk to me a little bit about, about, um, Oh, so you want to say something there, Jeff? Oh, I just wanted to add that um, what Joe is saying is the flavor is very important to us. So the flavor prof profile uh, hmm. for, you know, the, in the past uh, years before humanity, we have innovated different kinds of products and it just didn't have that taste. And to mm. get that loyal customer, 
taste is very important to us. So yeah. um, our flavors that we picked, it's got to be experienced uh, when our customers drink it. They have to want to come back mm. and, and really enjoy that taste. So that is first and foremost, and, and then the premium ingredients behind it. Talk, talk to me a bit about um, either or Jeff or Joe. Um, talk to me about the about the distribution side of things and like where people can find can find yeah. humanity. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, as a small company, you know, we're very strategic. Of course, mm. As a sales guy, I want to be everywhere yesterday. Right. Of but, course. You know, we're, we're very strategic in regards to how we approach the marketplace. So you can buy humanity online. Go to our website. We offer shipping. You can order any one of our flavors. That's number one. <clears throat> and number two, based on where you live, mm -hmm. you know, you can find us in the 7-Eleven, an extra mile uh, convenience store. Uh, if you're in the Midwest, Meyer, um, you can find us in about 130 colleges across the country. Mm. And then in a, and also in uh you know, some natural and organic grocery chains. All in all, we're at about 35 to 4,000 locations, mm. um, which is pretty nice for, for, you know, being as young as we are. But we're hoping to grow our distribution. Um, and uh, from a distribution, you know, standpoint, mm -hmm. we have some of the best distribution partners uh, in the industry. We have Kehi who's a national distributor. We have UNFI, uh, Cormark, mm. McLean, and then some really amazing DSD distributors that are, you know, regional. So, um, you know, we're well on our way to securing the best distribution network possible. Mm. So Jeff, um, speaking of distribution, Jeff, uh, I'm curious on how you like your plans for the company for the future, like as you scale this, as you mentioned, the tea, tea market, um, huge other than water, right? That's what people drink um, in terms of the marketplace. Like what does the investment side of things look like this? Or like, tell us about a little bit about the plans to scale. Yeah, the plan scale is, well, we always want to be on top of innovation. So mm -hmm. um you know, coming up with new flavors. Um, and when we're looking at possibly new packaging as well, um, mm -hmm. and um, maybe add in some carbonated drinks. So there's a lot of different ways we're looking to innovate and, and uh, to build. Um, you know, the first five years, we can't be everything for everybody. Of but course. We, do, we do want a portfolio that does have a wide base from from low sugar to mid sugar to to full body and, and to um, mm -hmm. unsweetened and then um, like just just uh, a couple months ago we just launched our two new products that uh, Robios uh, tea is from South America is uh, I mean South Africa excuse me and it's a mm -hmm. red tea and it's really good for anti um, flame inflammatory um, and antibiotics and stuff that uh, is good for the mm -hmm. tea, as well as we have uh, chamomile that's from Egypt uh, and they're low calorie and the, their, the flavors we use is just phenomenal. So um, in the, it's just scaling is a lot of innovation and packaging. And then of mm -hmm. course, what uh, Joe was talking about, our distribution is really important, who we partner mm -hmm. with, how we get it out there and reach and to yeah. the to the busy um, regions that we want to serve. And you're also working with Start Engine now. Tell, tell us a little bit more about that and what's taking place there. Yeah, right now we are on the second month of raising funds at Start Engine. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just a, so we can scale to the next level and mm -hmm. and uh, build up our team. And you can go to startengine.com forward slash humanity h-u-m-a-n-i-t-e-a -E and you can um participate and be a family member of humanity and uh we're we're offering some shares uh for for investment and as we grow and there's a lot of perks in there for you to participate and mm -hmm. and be part of our team uh, again we're helping 
Uh, two two big fundraisers right now are humanitarian nonprofits. Mm. One is for its uh, foster love, and that is helping uh, kids in the foster uh, system, foster mm. care system. Foster Love is a nonprofit organization that helps kids from infant age all the way up through college. And then um, our second partner, they're both national, is American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. And they are uh, help uh, suicide prevention, which mm. is a huge epidemic. And both of them are very passionate to, to us at uh, Humanity. It's really why we, we started this company, because we want to help uh, uh, you know, people in need. And we picked these two uh, topics. They are you know, sometimes difficult to talk about, but they're real. They're so yeah. real to us and to, to everybody out there. So we want to be part of this helping and assisting. So every, every sip that people yeah. that we sell out there, helps grow money to those great missions. Yeah, I think I think it's a great story. And that's one of the reasons why I was happy to bring um, you both on the show to talk about humanity and, and the mission behind it. Um, that being said, um, if, if and by the way, for everybody listening, we'll put the links to the start engine page and all that good stuff um, down below. So if you're watching this live, I know that it says, um, according to what I've seen before we started this, 20 days left. If, and we're going to put this on the podcast in a couple of days. So you still have some time there to participate. Um, but that being said, um, Jeff, Joe, we're in uh, we're in uh, 2024 now. We're in January. Um, last question, both of you, whoever wants to go first, completely up to you. How would you characterize, um, you know, a successful 2024 for humanity? Like, what would a good year look like? Oof, wow. Yeah, that's a big one. Oh, Come on. My gosh. Uh, well, I, I, let me answer this one. Uh, a successful year would be, you know, getting into uh, 10,000 accounts, having uh, 10 to 12 flavors, being able to uh, uh, support, you know, American Foundation for Suicide Prevention and foster love with more money. The more money, the more resources, the more help they can provide. Uh Doubling our sales force would be a success. And uh, quite honestly, I think just expanding the overall brand awareness of humanity. Um, there's a lot of upside to humanity. Hmm. And like Jeff had mentioned, we've got some great ideas, things that we want to do. We hmm. just need the capital to do it. But uh, coming to a store near you, <laughs> watch out for humanity, pick up two, three, or four, and uh, enjoy, enjoy the tea. All right. Thanks, Joe. Jeff, what would it look like to you? Successful 2024. Well, uh, Joe mentioned every topic I wanted to say. So I would say <laughs> just add to it is that uh, definitely we want more and more people to know about humanity. And for all you listeners out there, if uh, I haven't met one person yet, and we've been at this for two and a half years and trade mm. shows and everything, I haven't met met one person yet to that tastes our product and said they didn't like the taste. So I put you to the challenge. Go to our website, www.drinkhumanity.com mm. and order a case and, and have it delivered. Taste it and tell us what you think. Because I... Yeah. I guarantee, and I know Joe will guarantee, you will enjoy it. It will be the best tasting tea out there. And and then when you wrap it in it, it, together, that we're helping people at the end of the day that really need our help. And yeah. and we're going to branch out in, in 2024. Um, we're going to look also at regional um, emissions too. So we've been helping some homeless uh uh, organizations in LA. So we're, we're looking to branch out. We have two major ones, companies, mm. partners we're working with, but we want to get regional too. So humanity follows a lot of different missions in a humanitarian way. And we really want to make a difference, but we want you to enjoy the beverage at the same time. So join mm. our family, taste our product, get involved. We guarantee you will enjoy it. 
Fantastic. And I think that's a great way to a great way to call it. So definitely we'll put um go check out that website, order a case, order two. I got cases lined up over here. I'm drinking it over right here. Come on, order some more. And uh and uh if you haven't, by the way, if you're watching this for the first time and you haven't hit that subscribe button, don't forget to do that. All right. That subscribe button's not gonna bite. Get it done. We got more people coming up on the line and we don't want you to miss a thing. Jeff, Joe, hey, thanks guys again for making some time and uh, and we're we're big fans of humanity over here. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Adam. You, Adam.